John, is this another instance of uh, how we're trying to, we're starting to really see the, the extended reach of the party across all levels of government? I think this is the latest sign of that, but that is a process that's been happening uh, ever since Xi Jinping took power back in 2012. Uh, the primacy of the party in all things, be it uh, at the state-owned, uh, enterprise, corporate level, all the way up now to uh, what is essentially China's cabinet and decision-making at the highest level. That, that has been one of the core things that Xi Jinping has tried to change about China since he's taken power, and this is just uh, another sign of him making additional progress on that front. And I guess this is something as well that, that extends beyond Xi Jinping because you're also sort of looking at the governance dynamics into the future. I think it's interesting the timing of this amendment change. This, of course, is the first year that the NPC is happening uh, under the leadership of the new premier, Li Qiang. Li Qiang uh, is, of course, uh, one would say Xi Jinping's man, someone that Xi Jinping has a long work history with, someone that the, each of them, the two gentlemen, Xi and uh, Li Qiang, have known each other for a long time. That, as opposed to earlier, uh, the state council, the NPC being held under the auspices of Premier Li Keqiang, uh, who, was, who came up through the system at the same time that she did, that, who was not part of Xi's camp, uh, as it were. And so I think this also signifies that Xi Jinping's control over the government, over the party, over uh, all the decision making in this country is stronger than ever. As you talk about the primacy in just about every part of China, right, whether you talk about corporate boardrooms to, you know, university lecture theatres, what are the implications for investors, right? Does that mean there are concerns when it comes to his ideology, his views on national security concerns and how that impacts a, a lot of the companies that are being run within China? I think the main concern at the moment is transparency. And that has to do with uh, the elevation of national security vis-a-vis uh, -vis economic development in terms of priorities and importance. Uh, I, I, the concern is to protect national security, does that necessarily mean there is going to be less information, less insight provided for uh, the economy, for policymaking? And will that mean that investors in the business community are going to have to make decisions with less information available to them? That, that has made people less... Uh, more hesitant about putting money into China. We've seen that in the FDI data. Uh, obviously, the political situation with the U.S. has not helped at all. Uh, and so that is the main concern uh, with the canceling of the premier's press conference at the end of the NPC this year. I think that is uh, continuing to underline uh, that concern in the business community.